You're watching Smart Money. It's time to address some of your financial queries now. Let's welcome our first viewer, Rishi, who is joining us from Bangalore. Hi, Rishi. Tell us, what is the question for us today? Uh, uh, good afternoon, sir. This is Rishi Gupta from Bangalore. Sir, uh, I would just want to take the term insurance. There are so many insurance. I have compared Policy Bazaar. I have given you some Aviva, Tata, uh, I, AII, Raksha, and uh, Max Life options. And uh, then my one more query is there, sir, like Sahara Group. Is, uh, if something happens to the company, what will be, whether they will giving the any claim or how to insure to get which uh, which one uh, uh, company is good with the lower lowest premium. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, a specific query seems more on term insurance, That's but you've right. had a look at his detailed portfolio. Yes, I have. What would you guys And I'm actually going to take the opportunity to do a little bit more than just yes. the pure question, Rishi. Um, I'm going to jump right into to see what is in your money box. You're 40 years old, you're married, you have one child, and there are no other dependents. You're managing to save quite a bit of your money, about 40% of your annual income you save. My fr frank audit of your money box is like this. At age 40, I would have liked to see many more products, more meat in your uh, money box than I see today. But we don't need to worry because you have 20 years of earning ahead of you. And we will help you try and start building that money muscle in your money box. Um, I want to do some basic hygiene in your money box before, you before we take your specific insurance question. You need a 3 lakh uh, emergency fund according to what expenses I see, but you already have a 5 lakh rupee FD. Now, there's no need to rush and break this FD. It's okay if you have a little extra in your emergency fund because your income is going to rise over the next few years and so will your expenses and you will need that 5 lakh. So leave that aside, call it emergency fund and you're good. Your medical cover is from your company but I want you to buy your own. You're 40 years old. By 45, I normally recommend a higher level of medical insurance because you're moving towards the years in which your expenses could rise. I would recommend a 5 lakh cover individual for each of the members of the family. Top it up with a 10 lakh cover on it. Um, yes, there is a medical cover from your office, but you do need to buy your own. Now you have shortlisted four policies, Rishi. We do not recommend specific products on this show, but I will give you a handle as to how you can choose one of them. Now the first thing to understand in a term life policy, one of the four that you have selected, is that we are not going for just a low premium policy. We want to see what other features we have. Now, two of the policies that you have chosen, one gives a sum assured on death, which is fairly small. It is only 10% of your uh, total sum assured that comes, and rest comes in monthly installments. Right? What we want is a large lump sum amount coming in, and if then there's a subsequent monthly uh, uh, payback to the family, that is fine. But we want a large amount of money coming to the family on death. And then if there is a monthly income, that is fine. So that's the first thing. The second thing you need to check is what is the claims ratio of the company. You can go on to the LiveMint site, you can search for claims experience, claims ratio, and you will come across tables which give you how much, how many claims does a company honor. And that's a key metric which you, you need to take into account. So look at all of these features and then actually choose your policy. You would need a cover of at least 1.8 crore given the fact that you also have a, a, an EMI, I think a loan on your head, right? Now, uh, I want to also jump into the, uh, your investing part of your money box. I see very sort of tentative steps towards building financial products. You see, the money is actually there. You're saving quite a bit every year. If we were to put it to use in the next 20 years, your uh, goals for your child and your own retirement are fairly well in place. The first thing, I, of course, I want you to do is to open two PPF accounts, credit them every year with one lakh. Then you still have a lot of money left to invest. I want you to start 5,000 rupee SIPs in two large cap funds and also 5,000 rupees each in two balanced funds with um, uh, you know, no equity exposure of no more than 20 to 30%. Right? So that is the outlay for your money box. And the most crucial question which you came to us with 
was your term insurance. We've given you some pointers as to how to choose. And you also had some worries of what happens to, a, what happens to your money if a company actually uh, you know, collapses. Now, the regulations are fairly tight in terms of prudential norms in insurance. So I don't think you need to worry about a company collapsing. I think the money will be safe. You just need to choose a right product. All right, let's move on to our next viewer. Santosh has sent us this email from Karnataka. Let's listen in to his query. Santosh has sent us this email from Karnataka, where he owns and operates a coffee plantation. He claims he has an annual income of 12 lakh rupees with monthly expenses of 95,000 rupees, which leaves him with a monthly surplus of 5,000 rupees. He has an emergency fund worth 1 lakh rupees. Apart from gold worth 2 lakh rupees, he hasn't invested in any financial products. He wants to know which financial products will give him a regular income. He also seeks advice on retirement planning. Santosh's biggest financial fear is unstable and inconsistent agricultural income. How does his portfolio look? Well, he's the first uh, coffee grower we've had on the show. <laughs> we drink the coffee, but now it's we know. we can't speak to him. I know, he's I wish he was actually online. Email. Yes, <laughs> this is a call that we are missing, Santosh. You're a coffee grower. You have your own plantation. And it's your coffee, possibly, which gives us the caffeine shots we need every day to work. <laughs> right? But there's a little bit of a, well, it's a little unsteady, the, the plantation business, as I understand. What is in your money box? You're 37 years old. You're married, you have one child, and you are planning another one. Your parents are dependent on you. You live on the plantation, and you live off the plantation. The income of, from the plantation is just about keeping your head above water. There is, at the moment, very little I see to build a corpus. If I do a return on equity, Santosh, I'm seeing only a 6% return. That's pre-tax return on equity from the plantation. Because your valuation that you gave to me and the income that you give gives me a return on equity of 6%. The decision to sell or not to sell is purely yours. But I think something will have to be done by you in terms of either increasing productivity or uh, something else to increase income. Or as you said, if it becomes un unviable, you may think of selling the plantation, but you need to have your plan B in your career. You are only 37. You have 40 years ahead of you of active working life. So do consider your plan B, because at the way that it is, it looks just above water. I have a lot of problems. There is absolutely, you know, the form that I send, everything is nil, nil, nil. There's nothing that I see, and that's a real cause of worry to me. The first thing you have to do is build your emergency fund. Although it is your own business, although no one can evict you from your land, there is no boss who can fire you, but things happen. You need at least three months of living cost, close at hand in a fixed deposit, or you should use short-term debt funds which you can buy online. So that's your first goal, create your emergency fund. That's about three lakh rupees you need. Um, start saving towards it every month and create that corpus. Medical cover, I find a three lakh floater for all of you inadequate. You need at least three lakh each Top it up with a 5 lakh floater. Your parents need independent covers of 5 lakh each. So that's your step two, your emergency fund and your medical cover. You are not insured. Your life is not insured. You will need at least a crore and a half of your term cover. Go online, search the plans. You may need to take a town a trip to the nearest town to actually do your medical and buy that policy. But these three things are the most important before we even get to investments. And my sense is looking at the money that I see, investments are not going to begin before at least another year because all of these are going to soak up whatever money that you have. But you can start preparing for that investment. The products that you need are a public provident fund, PPF, and a NPS, the National Pension System. So start off by understanding the NPS. PPF is a straight product. You go to a bank, you open your account, and you start putting money in. The NPS you will need to understand a bit. But for a person like you who does not get the benefit of a provident fund, this is a product that works for you. So many, many worries about your uh, financial future, Santosh. It may be a good time to do some brainstorming with the family and work out the course of the next 30 to 40 years of your working life. 
All right. With that, it's time to say goodbye for now. Always remember, wealth cannot be earned. It can only be created. And we at Smart Money will continue to help you to grow and protect your money. We will be back same time next week with many more strategies for your finances from Monica, me and the entire Smart Money team. Thanks for watching.